begin with a little bit of wall space. Bring yourself towards the wall so that your legs, as you put your feet on the wall, look like you're sitting in a chair, 90 degrees under the knees. And from here, let the arms relax and tuck the shoulders underneath you. As you exhale, begin to lift your hips up off of the mat. And as you inhale, set the hips back down. So just roll through the spine a few times, exhaling to curl the tailbone up and lift the hips. Inhaling as you bring the spine and the hips back down to the floor. Exhale as you curl up. Inhale as you set everything down one vertebra at a time. Let the breath get slower. Create a little whispering sound within your breath. And then bring your right knee towards your right hand. Push the right knee into your hand as you press the left foot into the wall. So your legs are doing, doing two very different things. Right knee is pushing towards you, left knee is pushing away from you. And take a few of those slow, steady breaths. And then switch. Take your left hand to the left knee. Push your left knee towards you as you press, press that right heel into the wall. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Slow breath in. Full breath out, still keeping those legs active, even though it's invisible. The knee, left knee is pushing towards you, right knee is pushing away. And then sit both feet back on the wall. Take your feet apart into a wide horse stance. So your knees and your toes point out about 45 degrees or whatever degree your hips allow. Now as you exhale, flex your feet and rotate left knee in, right knee out. As far as it'll go, Finding this full internal rotation. Inhale back to center. When you're ready, exhale, take the right knee in. So now it's this right leg that's internally rotating. Only as far as you can go with no pain, no strain. Exhaling to find your full rotation. Inhaling to find center. Exhaling, rotate left. Inhaling, center. Exhale, rotate right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, rotate left. And inhale, back to center. Now you might notice you're walking away from the wall a little bit. Feel free to bring yourself back to the wall. And when you're ready, exhale, lift your hips. Push your heels into the wall and find that same rotation. It might not be quite as far, because now you're keeping your hips elevated. Inhale, center. Pressing your shoulders down and your heels into the wall. Your hips don't have to be as high as I'm going right now. I want you to be able to see this lift. But in your body, you might just hover half an inch above the ground and feel that new work in the muscles. One more time. and then set the hips back down. You can keep the hips where they are as you straighten the legs, or if you prefer, work your way closer to the wall so that you have a little more stretch in the inner thigh, as well as the backs of the thighs as you take the legs wide. And slide your chin towards your chest, bring your low back into neutral, and let these inner legs relax and stretch open. You might want to support your legs with your hands 
or with a stack of blocks or pillows or blankets for a little bit of support here so the legs can fully relax. Slow breath in. Full breath out. Deep breath in. Long breath out. You can stay in any of these positions for longer than I am here. Choose the ones that allow you to release that built up tension. When you're ready, you'll walk the feet or slide the feet closer together on the wall and cross left thigh over right. Slide your heels down the wall, bring your knees in closer to your chest. Now we open up that outer thigh. We're taking the legs over to the right. And again, you might settle them onto blocks or a blanket or a bolster, or just let them drop down to the floor. Press your left hip towards the wall. Let your left shoulder drop towards the floor. And then keep your head either facing the ceiling or give it a little turn towards the left as if you're looking towards your left thumb. Breathe into these left side ribs. And then let it all go. Breathe in, expanding ribs. Breathe out, let it relax. At least one more time, deep breath in. And a long breath out. Now inhale your knees back through center. Unwind. When you're ready to exhale, cross your right thigh over your left. Hug the knees in towards you. Gently drop the knees over to the left, placing them on blankets or blocks or bolsters or letting them come down to the floor. And then reach this right hip towards the wall. Let your ribs open up to the ceiling. Let this right shoulder drop down towards the floor. As you breathe, slide your chin a little closer to your chest. Then maybe turn to look to the right. Deep breath in. Full breath out, reaching that right hip away from your shoulder. Left hand can go to your ribs now. So as you inhale, expand fully. Feel the ribs opening up. And then exhale, let it all go. Inhale again, expanding sides, back, front, top and bottom. And as you exhale, let it relax. And once more. As you inhale, roll to your back, extending the legs up the wall, or if you prefer, moving yourself away from the wall to lie flat on your back. And bring one hand to your low ribs, one hand to your navel. Let your shoulders relax, let the head and the neck release. And from this position, inhale, expand into your ribs, expand into your navel. Exhale, let the navel drop and let the ribs drop and let all of this exhalation take much longer than the inhalation. Inhale to about a count of four. Exhale towards a count of eight. Inhale towards the count of four. Exhale towards the count of eight.
continue to slow down your exhalations. The numbers don't really matter. Instead, focus on extending the exhalation, letting it linger, drawing it out playfully. There's no work, no over-efforting involved. Let these extended exhalations continue until the nervous system has more fully unwound and reset. 